Yeah, man, I thought I'd smash out a little morning cycling session. Basically because I just wanted to see how much of a ball ache it was because I'm going to... Shin splints are back big time, so I'm going to give them a like, two-week rest. Hopefully the bone heals and that's me sorted, but we'll see about that. And yeah, man, calories up. We're on 3,200 now, so we are... We're, we're, a fa we're eating a thousand more calories per day and as you saw scale weight is pretty much the same and Composition's probably probably a little bit better. So a little bit of, probably lost a little bit more body fat And I'll in this video I'll speak a little bit about how that's possible and what um, I see a lot of people not quite understanding the calories in calories out sort of model and what it sort of means the they literally think it means the calories in the food and then the calories that you burn out but there's a lot more factors involved in the calories out side of things and as i've said before you're better off using energy in versus energy out it sort of puts that in your mind that there's a lot more stuff going on rather than just the food and the exercise sort of thing but yeah man eat this do a little bit of work then we're got a bit of training half body d to finish off the weekly volume and then man this this camera is like Testing my, testing my um, deltoids out. And then we've got footy, man. Let's see how we go. I'm trying to take it a bit easier this week, but it's just dead easy. It's, I mean, hot season is upon us, and it's like 36 degrees in the day now, so hopefully that helps me take it a bit easier, but we'll see, man. We'll see. Yep, same breakfast, dude. As always, apart from we had two slices of bread as well. Homemade bread, so it's just a guesstimate but it's Bella man, Bella. I'm dead there. Oh, give me. Oh. We've got 190 gram of nans, 190 gram of watermelon, and 240 grams of pineapple. The freshest napple in the planet. Just had 10 minutes trying to get a bit of sun on my back, but I get a lot, I get, get a few not questions but people say get a tan getting a tan but I am 25% ginger and we're in I'm in the trop I'm in a tropical country man I've got to watch I mean I'm gro I've got enough moles you know what I mean I'm, I'm not I can get a tan but I'm trying to not get skin cancer as well if you know what I mean but yeah I do need a bit of a tan I, I, I Talking about being ginger, look, the beard's back, the ginger beard, mate. Yeah, man. Right, get get ready, go and, um, Ronaldo session. Quick one as well, geez. dude's dad is a, is a bread creator. What are they called? Baker. If you could smell that, honestly. Honestly, dude, that smells unbelievable. So imagine that was on, when I was on the turbo cut. Just every Saturday smelling fresh bread. Oh, Jesus. Ho, 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 gassed again. Gassed again from football, man. It's just a change of direction. Can't do it. Can't do it. Bit of a random last meal. Well, not random. Tuna salad. And then for my carbs, I'm just going in on the fresh bread, man. Four or five slices. Oh, oh, I can do it. Oh, and yeah, man. Pick up tomorrow. Talk about what I said to talk about. Eating more food. Staying in the same condition. Absolutely bang on. Good morning, Sunday, geez. Big rest day. 
One second, mate. And we're back, guys. We're back. Probably, well, since December, what is it? Start of jam, man. So this is finally back to the... I've got to think about what a manual focus lens, dude. Back to 3,000 calories. Well, 3,200, between 3,000 and 3,200. Yeah, man. And an half decent nick, so that's that's good, man. That's good times. But yeah, Sunday, Sunday. Good morning, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Time to get some snap. Let's get that on focus. Time to get some snap in. Usual breakfast. Teddy, teddy. Ted. Send you to Kurt Zuma's house. Yeah, man. So let me show you how we're living. You know, the normal breakfast, eggs, cabbage. But we need some cabbage, man. We need some cabbage. This cat follows me around everywhere, dude. I'm a cat guy. Oh. Your knife. How are we gonna do this? We'll sort it out, we'll sort it out, we'll sort it out. Whew. That is an accurate depiction of my skin tone. Yeah, man. We're outside. Teddy, Teddy. We'll set you up. You know, dude, it's always breaking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus Christ, did you see that? That's a problem with Thailand, man. Living in tropical countries. I grip the knife on the blade. That was massive. I don't know if you, the audio would have picked that up. It sounded like a... So this has made this job 10 times harder. You can't risk that getting out. This does not go as planned. We'll set you up there. That's where we get the cabbage. Chop this bad boy up and then we're going. Usual breakfast. Another another addition to the breakfast is let's serve this up. This cat's mad, dude. Scraping that egg off, man. Told you, look, forearm workout, big time. Bit of soy sauce. Bit of soy sauce, mate. On the eggs. Obviously, hot sauce, best one in Thailand. It's probably not useful to anybody, but yeah, man. Eat this. Sunday's construction, man. Sunday's rest day, but I don't change my nutrition. I know a lot of people, more on the bodybuilding side of things, tend to have like rest day calories training day calories. Rest days they normally do higher fats, I think just for just for satiety purposes, but that's not the case for me. Even even to the point I eat the same calories on, um, normally I have a higher day when I'm on lower calories, but when the calories go up, I just have the flat calories. Apart from if I go on the bike, if I do CV work longer than two hours, I fuel specifically for that session, normally as you've saw in other videos. Just on the carbs, man, on the sugars, make sure we're, make sure we're fueled appro appropriately to get the most out of it. But yeah, man, eat this, and I've got to clean all my shit, as usual, try and get some kind of a tan. Some kind of a tan. Some kind of red skin. But, um, yeah, and shave this 
Ginger beer off. Ginger. Yeah, man. What's the menu for today for the second meal? We've got a selection of fruits. We've got the tropical mango, the tropical pineapple, and the tiny Thai banana. And some peanut butter mixed in with protein. Protein sludge, as people like to call it. Yeah, man. So I'm eating 1,000 calories more per day and I'm in the same, if not a little bit better condition. I just want to explain a little bit how that's possible. So when, when we talk about calories in, calories out, people get really honed in on the calories, the black and white of it, calories in, food, calories out, the, the calories that you're burning, but they're very much intertwined. For example, use myself as an example. So at the end of the six weeks on 2,200 calories, and it was time to take the calories up. As soon as I took the calories up, I st after like a week or so of those 200 extra calories per day coming into the system and utilizing, I start getting fitter on the bike, feeling more energetic. Also with the increase in calories, you, like like talking now with hands, boom, 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 that is part of your knee. Knee is not just steps as well. It's a way, steps is a good way to manipulate your knee, knee and make that, um, and track it basically. But knee includes things like this, talking with your hands. So. The more energy that you're putting in on the energy inside of things, the calorie inside of things, the more the more you burn as well, if that makes sense. But um, and yeah, I've said it before, you're better off not calling it calories in, calories out, and call it energy in, energy out, and it just puts the bigger picture in your mind because obviously you're eating more food, so it's going to be taking more energy to burn that food. Not not a massive amount, that is a small percentage, I must admit. But the main things is that you're putting more energy in, and you're more, you're talking more with your hands, you're doing naturally more steps if you don't track them, um, and exercise as well. The more energy you add. I think the reason, the main reason for me as an individual that I'm able to eat 1,000 calories more per day is because my cardio routine is very reliant on fueling properly. As soon as I got back up to 2,600 calories, that allows me to have a 200 calorie, um, well, 200 calories, I normally have fruit, pineapple or something like that, 200 calories worth of pineapple or banana or something like that before my cardio session. So I normally get up have my breakfast, train, and then I do my cardio when I'm on lower calories. But now, because I've increased the calories, I'm able to position 200 calories in between the, in between the resistance training and the cardio se uh, session. And, it, and it's the increase in performance that's provided has allowed me to increase my calories from like 2,600 all the way back up to like 3,000. I hope this makes sense. Again, I just wanted to, I'm not, obviously I'm not the best guy at articulating my point. Um, to a camera but any questions just ask me and I got a question well it says there six days ago man and it's about transitioning into back into intuitive eating I think if you execute the reverse diet properly and you get your calories up to up three to five six hundred more per day the transition into intuitive eating is way easier obviously if you're eating 500 calories more per day there's a lot more flexibility in terms of in terms of allowing for allowing for overestimates and stuff like that so i think if you're looking at transitioning to intuitive eating you want to nail you get into the condition you want reverse diet get basically get the calories back up to something that is that allows you to intuitive eat and then and then play with a bit of intuitive eating. For me personally, I don't really like intuitive eating, um, especially if you're inexperienced in terms of dieting and stuff like that. But obviously, even myself, I've got what 15 years of doing this shit. So, and I still don't like intuitive eating. I've got no um, no problem with anyone who does. But for me, I just really like to know what's coming in and what's com what's and what that produces on the output side of thing interested more than anything i've got no like uh i get no negatives from it obviously i know with tracking people can get upset i mean like i've said before people can get obsessed and rip the arse out of anything and like i always say with this fitness thing just take a step back every month or so and say is this what i'm doing making my life better and you always want to make sure the answer is yes if it's no or maybe not take a step back chill out and uh, reassess things, man, because you don't want to have a shit life.
and that's that's to the bank man you can take that a bit of uh, advice to the bank don't you don't want a shit life i'll see you i'll see you next time have i been in focus all this time or what dude I said, I'm not doing that again, mate. It's red on it. That got no, got no shirt on. It's, we're back in summer, man. It is steady, thirty-six degrees. Just hits you like a train, man. A train, a train of like. You can feel the. Obviously, I can't have a fan on when I'm making a video. But anyway, do us a like, bro. See you next time.